hi welcome back to another video i hope you guys are all doing really really well i've literally just done the outro for my last vlog and when i came on the camera i was just saying look at my big eye bags that i have like it is quite early um, and i was up earlier this morning and it's obviously like the clocks haven't changed yet i feel like the clocks are changing soon when is that actually <laughs> they've definitely not changed yet um and it's like so dark because when you're getting up early just now it's like so dark like this morning i was up at six and it's pitch black outside and six is earlier for me usually i got up at like seven so an hour earlier and clearly i can't hack it because i've got a big massive eye bag i do actually have a kind of bluey birthmark under one of my eyes um, and sometimes when I'm like more tired or just maybe a little bit paler or like unwell or whatever it shows more apparently this is what I've been told from others who see it under my eye um, and I don't know if that's what it is but bloody hell I think I need to get some more sleep or get invest in some like good eye patches or something because this is not the best look I've literally just checked and we still have two weeks until the clocks change so yeah if anyone else didn't know that, there you go, I've given you that fact. But anyways, I'm on to start another vlog. It is currently Friday and I dropped Chris in at his work this morning rather than taking him to the train station. One, because I was planning to meet my friend um, at Cotton Rake Bakery um, around about 10 and I thought, do you know what I'll do? I will drop Chris in early. He needs to go in, well he doesn't need to go in, but he starts work earlier on a Friday. So I dropped him in for about half past eight and I thought I'll get to the bakery. It opens at eight anyway, so I thought I'll get there and go in for just before nine and I'm not meeting my friend until like, I think half ten. So I've brought my laptop with me and I'm gonna go in and do some work and actually edit the other vlog that you'll have seen before this one. And the other reason is Chris is actually going away on his kind of first work trip with his new work um, so he's actually going to be away over the next few days um, so I have an empty tonight <laughs> so of course I will miss him but I'm quite excited to I've got quite a lot of work on basically this week and it means now that I'm going to work over the weekend um, and get everything done just get like tied up on different things and then on Sunday um, we can have like a nice kind of cosy day when he gets home and we'll watch Harry Potter and I'm going to make like a nice wholesome dinner and we'll have snacks it'll just be really nice although of course I will miss him when he's away on his business trip I'm just looking forward to cracking on with lots of work so like I said I meet my friend um, this morning and then after that I'm going to the post office because I have another batch of Lala orders to go out we also have a new sweatshirt that's launching on Sunday so I need to get the content for that which I think I'm going to do later today I've also got some filming to do this afternoon um, I've got like an H&M haul and stuff that I want to show you guys on here and then I'm also going to do some reels for that so that's my plan for this afternoon so I had a few more vintage orders that came through last night and I've had time this morning to like pack them up and bring them with me so I'll probably just maybe go a walk later and take them um, to like the little drop off bit and then actually I was planning tonight just having like a kind of like pamper night like going and washing my hair because it needs washed my hair honestly gets so greasy now and like it's not something I feel like for years I always had like dry blonde hair and now like my hair just gets so so greasy but I don't know. I don't know what the answer to that is. But anyways, I'm going to wash all of my hair tonight um, and then I'm actually going to have a wee takeaway, I think, with my brother and Chester because he's in tonight on his own as well. Um, so he was like, why don't we just order in a takeaway and yeah, we can all chill. I'm not really seeing Chester much this week. So I'm excited to go and have a little cuddle with him, a wee cosy night in and then yeah, that is kind of pretty much my plans for today. I'm going to stop babbling because I parked up here literally like 10 minutes ago and I want to go in and start some work and get a coffee and also probably a croissant because I'm a hungry girl. So yeah, if you want to spend the next few days with me, just keep watching. Good morning loves, it's a gorgeous autumn morning, it's a Sunday morning and Chris was away for work on Friday and Saturday so he's now home and we're going to have a gorgeous cosy autumn day starting with going to the Heron farm shop, is it Heron? Yeah because I always call it Heron, Heron farm shop 
um, for a nice coffee, maybe a wee pastry and I'm wearing my new Lala sweatshirt. I've just jumped on to the other vlog to show you all this because that other vlog is going up today and this sweatshirt's launching later today. So yeah, if you didn't see it in the last vlog, you're seeing it in this one. Um, I'm actually going to go and get a cute little picture in it at the farm shop. So I'll take you guys with us to the farm shop and yeah, probably for the next few days as well. So we're at the Herring Farm Shop. There's two types of people in this world. This is my breakfast, an old school cake. And then Chris's went for the full breakfast option. What kind of person are you? A cake for breakfast <laughs> or an actual breakfast? <laughs> Just popped into home base and how gorgeous are these bubbles? Love them, they're really nice. Also, if you like neutral, they've got this one. Lots of big garlands. Got these cute little rustic ornaments as well. Popped into home bargains. These are only $1.99. Love these little trees, they're really cute. Oh, these are gorgeous. We have little white fluffy bows as well. If you like scandied bubbles, then these might be up your street. Hello my loves, I have just finished filming for the day, I have quite a few campaigns to shoot today and honestly I think it's literally the dullest day that we've had since last winter and I kept waiting for it to get like brighter, usually my dressing room kind of gets brighter in the afternoon and the back rooms are brighter in the morning but all the rooms today have just remained really really dull so I actually got the trusty old ring light out. I don't love filming with ring lights, I feel like I just much prefer good natural lighting but I had to get work done so yeah we resorted to using the ring light. I did actually have it on there to like see if it would make this shot a little bit brighter for you. I'm not actually really able to like load it properly to like where you because you guys sit on the you guys as if you're literally here with me but you guys sit on my windowsill um, when I'm doing like wee chatty videos in this room and the ring light's higher so it was just getting in the way. So I've just shifted that to the side. Um, I hope that you can see me well enough and that you can see what I'm about to show you well enough as well. Currently drinking a mix of hot coffees and cold coffees. This one is a cold iced coffee. I've had quite a lot of coffee today actually, which hmm, never ever good when you're an anxious girly. But yeah, I'm still having some iced coffees, some hot coffees. I actually planned to make this a hot coffee and then basically did the cold setting on my milk frother. So I was like, well, looks like we're having an iced coffee. I've just finished filming one of my videos for Foxy Looks and I have to show you this hair. I've actually put it behind me just now because when I'm sitting down, it's literally so, so long. It's like coming all the way down to my waist. It's actually so long that it goes right off the camera. But if you're looking to get any hair extensions, Foxy Locks are honestly the best. Our hair is super soft, it styles really well and it holds a style which is important. They're also not like heavy in your hair and the wefts and the clips are super super flat so I always find them super easy to wear. I've actually just went and got a longer length because I had 20 inches previously which I absolutely love but they are like a smidge longer than my natural hair now which is absolutely crazy. Still really good though because they add extra like volume and like va va voom to your hair especially if you're going on like a night out or whatnot. But since my hair obviously is getting quite long I thought I would like take it up a notch. These are the 24 inch hair extensions so they are obviously super super long like when I'm sitting down they're basically touching my legs like from <laughs> like my torso is obviously really really short Um, so yeah they are really really long but especially for coming up to like the festive season I feel like I always kind of want to look a bit more glamorous and also I just absolutely love like super long sleek straight hair I feel like that like with a bold red lip for like a Christmas night out all black outfit like that is just a bit of me so I'm excited to wear these more as we go into like the festive season and um, but I just thought I'd keep them in just now whilst I'm chatting to you guys so you can see I'll bring the loving round as well. Actually putting these in is kind of helping and kind of not helping with my 
hair decision. I've still not booked an appointment to get my hair done um, and that's because I still have no idea what I want to do. I do want to lighten my hair up. Well, in saying that one minute I want to lighten my hair up and then the next minute like I quite like this shade that I've got going on. Um, as like when I first get my hair done, obviously I don't use like purple shampoos and stuff like that and then as like my roots start to grow in, I start to use my purple shampoos again. So by the time I'm kind of like due another appointment, my hair is a bit more like icy, cooler blonde, which I do like. But then I also love just kind of being that like lived in blonde that's a little bit more like not warm because I don't like warm blonde. I don't really know. I don't really like creamy blonde. Creamy blonde is what I want to say. Um, and right now I would say I'm more like kind of cool tone blonde. But um, oh, that reminds me the hair extension shade that I wear is Ice Latte. And honestly, it actually matches so so well. It's definitely more of like a cool tone um, blonde, which obviously my hair is cooler just now, like more not silvery, but like it's got a cooler tone to it. Um, and yeah, like I was saying, I feel like I, I feel like putting these hair extensions in has made me go, well, if I cut my hair a wee bit, I can wear hair extensions. But then the other part of me, like putting these in and like seeing how long and thick they are, is making me think that I just continue to grow my natural hair. I can't decide, guys. I really cannot decide. So yeah, we still not booked an appointment. When the appointment does eventually come round, God knows what we'll end up going for. Part of me wants to be like a Scandi, like chopped into like face frame girl. The other part of me wants to just have like super long, all one length hair. Maybe maybe what I'll do is just slight shaping. Like, see, I've kind of got slight shaping here. Then now maybe I could take that up ever so slightly, but not make it thick. You guys are probably like, can she just decide what she's doing with her hair? Because in the last like four vlogs, I've been talking about not knowing what to do with my hair. And actually, that is not what I'm on here to talk to you guys about. I've actually got my parcel sitting next to me that I've had sitting for about a week and a half, and I haven't opened it because like I've refrained myself, refrained, restrained, refrained, refrained from opening it. Yeah, refrained myself. I don't even know if that's the right terminology. I basically stopped myself from opening it because I wanted to open it with you guys. Just before I do that though, if you are interested in getting a Foxy Locks hair extensions or anything from Foxy Locks, I also use their big kind of like paddle brush. You'll probably notice um, in any of my kind of hair videos or like if I'm brushing my hair in any vlogs, I've got this kind of big gold soft bristle brush. It's also really good for scraping your hair back in, um, into like a slick bun and that's also from Foxy Locks. I also use our hair oil, like there's loads of things from Foxy Locks that are really, really good. And the main thing that I use from Foxy Locks, can't believe I've just almost forgot to tell you that, is their hair curler. I have been using that for like two months now and I honestly think I have to get rid of every other kind of hair curler that I own because it's just so, so good. Like I think I'm going to curl my hair tomorrow for going to the pumpkin patch. I'm not even going to go into that now because I'll be here all day. You'll have to watch the rest of the vlog to see the pumpkin patch. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to curl my hair with that. Um, so I'm going to show you that actually. I'm sure I've shown it in a vlog recently, but yeah, that's also from Foxy Locks. If you're looking for something to put on your Christmas list, that should be it. And on that note, I have to tell you guys, I do have a discount code with Foxy Locks. It's Laura Fox, I believe. I am not like working with them for this video or anything like that. I do have a relationship with Foxy Locks just for like full transparency. Uh, but yeah, I'm not being like asked to speak about it in this video. I just really love them and the products. And the hair curler in particular is just like top tier. So yeah, I just thought I'd put that in there and let you know you can save some monies if you're like thinking of getting anything. Okay, now on to the goods. Like I said, I've had this sitting for a few weeks and the actual reason that I'm finally getting around to opening it is of course to show you guys, but my mum is now back from her holiday bags and I've actually got some stuff in here for her as well. So I'm actually gonna pop over and see her. Um, so I'm obviously gonna take the bits for her that are, that are hers. That package was actually very difficult to get into. So first things first, we both got these joggers. Um, and I was actually hoping they were going to be a little bit more like this kind of grey that I've got on, like a marrow grey. My mum has these joggers in black, they're like a kind of straight, slightly wide leg jogger. Uh, 15 99 I believe. I will link everything below by the way. Um, and I am going to get the black ones because I tried her pair on and I just know they're like a pair of joggers that I would wear all the time. Especially as it kind of gets colder. So I definitely want to get the black ones. But I got the grey ones thinking they were going to be more of a marrow grey and they're actually like this. So they're a nice fit though. Maybe actually they might be quite nice because they're more of a solid colour. I'm not too sure but they do have like a very like wide leg. They're really flattering on like I said the black ones are really nice. My mum got herself those joggers in a really nice kind of cream colour. Like I said she's got the black. She's going to love that grey colour I know because she doesn't really like marrow grey. And then she's went and got these kind of like beigey coloured ones. And then next up we have this really nice knit. 
absolutely love this. So it's a Polonek. I absolutely love a Polonek. I feel like you either love a Polonek or you hate a Polonek. Personally, I love it, even though it does definitely emphasise, like, my neck situation. I absolutely love the kind of, like, cream and black stripes on this. It's also got, like, wide arms. Almost like a little kind of, like, bat wing arm. So that's that. Now, it's also really nice length. So love that. I feel like that would be nice with, like, the other trousers. And then this one is actually one that my mum picked out. But to be honest, me and her, like, share quite a lot. So... I'll take this for her, I'll let her wear it, and then if I like it when she wears it, I'll probably steal it. It's a similar style to that other one, but the difference is it's got these kind of like ribbed cuff sleeves. This is just a really gorgeous kind of like biscuity colour. I absolutely love that. I feel like this also really just suit my mum, like she really suits this colour. So that is everything that I wanted to show you guys. I better actually get a move on eh, because I have a car full of orders as well to go to the post office and we're coming up for three o'clock. So I need to get to the post office to drop them off and then I'm gonna go and take these bits to my mum's. I'm so glad she's back actually. We're having a lovely little day tomorrow at Pumpkin Patch, a very autumnal day, um, which I'm very excited about. Apart from the fact the weather is apparently supposed to be awful. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it and like I said, I'm not gonna babble on about what I'm doing tomorrow. You'll just have to see. Um, so yeah, I won't talk to you guys now until tomorrow, but I hope you enjoyed that little h &M. Good morning my loves, just brushing out my curls. I've actually set up a little ring light after me talking about ring lights yesterday. It's literally a tiny wee light, it's not the big ring light that I had yesterday for filming. But the reason I actually set it up wasn't filming, it was so that I could bloody see what I was doing. I don't actually have like a makeup desk in this room and I don't have like one of those kind of big Hollywood mirrors or anything like that, like I used to have one in my old room at mom and dad's house and to be fair the light that you used to get off that like you could do your makeup in whatever conditions if you had that um that light on but i don't really like how the hollywood mirrors look they take up a lot of space on the vanity so i basically didn't bring it with me and in the summer months doing my makeup is absolutely fine because I have like a wee mirror that sits up here in the window ledge and I get lots of natural light in this room so it's never a problem but see in the winter I'm always like right especially when it's dark and like either dark at night when I'm doing my makeup which is like you do your makeup for going out at night don't you so that's always a problem or early mornings um, and I'm saying early mornings it's not even it's 25 past nine so it's not exactly like really early um but that's it just starting to get kind of like light we do have obviously this crazy weather coming this weekend and um, like stormy weather so that's probably not helping so i've basically pulled out a wee kind of like cheapy mirror that i got i think i got that in pre-market actually it's like a wee ring light thing um and it has like helped me do my makeup but it's not like the brightest light either so i'm basically thinking i'm going to need to get something either like a makeup like a big kind of light up mirror not like a hollywood one I don't know, I'll need to have a think. So that's my hair and makeup all done, ready to head to the pumpkin patch. I used the Foxy Locks curling tongue that I was telling you about yesterday and this is the kind of waves it gives. I just leave my hair out at the end and then it gives that kind of like beachy waves look. I'm going to go and pop my outfit on for the day and then I'll probably talk to you just in the car before we set off the pumpkin patch. Ready and heading out the door, I'm actually going to take my dew jacket off to dry. Try and get like some clips of my outfit and stuff when I'm at the pumpkin patch. We are going to the Craigie's farm in Edinburgh. I've never actually been to this pumpkin patch before. The last time I actually went pumpkin picking was two years ago. We never went last year. I think I left it too late to kind of book last year and then I couldn't find any pumpkin patches that still had space and then the year before we were moving house so we missed that year so I've not actually been I think it was the we last went in 2021 we never went in 2021 we never went in 2022 it was 2020 we went um and when we went in 2020 we went to East Yonderton farm I believe it's called it's next to Glasgow airport that one at the time this was two years ago didn't have as much like it was basically just pumpkin picking but the good thing about it was when we went we were literally the only people there so you had like a full range of pumpkins to choose from but like I said if you've got kids and stuff at that time I don't know if it's maybe changed now they never had as much like they didn't have any like food bits or like food trucks or anything and they never had any other activities the year before that we went to Arnprior farm in Sterling 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 <laughs> um and that's obviously really popular like I'm sure you've seen a lot of people go there that one was really really good as well um but the only reason I was kind of considering booking there but the only reason I didn't was I've seen this Craigie's farm pop up a few times and it looks quite good and this one has an actual farm shop and a little deli so you can go pick your pumpkins they also have other activities I think as well like these like spooky tunnels or something it's called obviously it's me and my mum that 
daughter going. Um, I was actually going to go with Chris. Well, Chris had said he wanted to go, which I was kind of like, oh, that's like, you know, usually it's like the girlies that are like, let's go and do these fun autumnal activities. But he said he wanted to go, but obviously now he doesn't get weekdays off and all the weekends are fully booked. So we could only, I think the only slot I could find that was like going to work was Friday, this Friday. So Chris got patched and I'm taking my mum instead. But we love like a little kind of cosy farm shop day. Um, and obviously mum's been away, so I haven't really seen her. Well, I have seen her since she got back, but we've not been out and done anything. So yeah, we're going today, we're driving through to Edinburgh. It's supposed to be this crazy weather. Um, so hopefully it's going to be all right. I'm actually leaving a bit of a little bit later than planned but I'm excited nonetheless and of course as always I will take you with us just arrived at my mum's and I have to tell you guys about this coffee that she brought back from Florida so we absolutely love going for a Tim Hortons arguably I would say Tim Hortons is probably the best coffee you, you think that as well don't you like I never had a bad coffee from Tim Hortons right so she got this kind here which is like ground coffee which you put in one of those is it a French press or called I'm sure it is, yeah. it is. it's a French press I've never actually done that before mum's got one. She also got coffee beans for her coffee machine and since she's been back I think I've had like three of these coffees and honestly they are delicious so she's making some for us to take in the car and then it means we won't get a coffee when we get there straight away we'll go and do our pumpkin picking first but I had to tell you guys about these. The only thing, an annoying thing about it is you can get, I don't think you can get these in the UK and the delivery charge is super high. We're going to go and bulk buy them the next time we're there. You all know I absolutely love my Nespresso machine but the dream would be to have a very fancy machine like this in the house. Hey, look at us, we've got our coffees to go. This is the jumper that I was showing you yesterday, how lovely is that? It looks very snazzy. We just went pumpkin picking, but we didn't go to the pumpkin patch that I had originally booked. The pumpkin patch that I booked was the one in Edinburgh, I think I was telling you this before we set off. And basically, obviously, there's like yellow and red um, weather warnings today. And when we kind of got onto the motorway to head through to Edinburgh, my car was moving about on the motorway. And we weren't even like, I wasn't driving fast. And it, where we are isn't really where the weather's supposed to be bad. And I've got a big car and the fact my car was moving was a wee bit like... Yeah, it just made me think, mm, are we going to get there? And also, as we set off, I looked and realised that it said something about if you arrive like 15, 20 minutes after your time slot, you don't get on, even though my time slot was two hours, wasn't it? So oh, I was serious? worried we were going to... Yeah, actually three hours. Mm -hmm. So I was worried we were going to get there. I thought it was just like, your, that was your time slot, come whenever. Um, so yeah, we kind of just started thinking, is that a bad idea? We're going to get there and they're going to say... You can't get on and then is weather going to be bad and blah blah blah. So I'd noticed that they, or well, I'd seen on um, TikTok that they had one, a pumpkin patch in Clyde Valley. I don't know why I didn't originally book this one. I think I had in my head that, I don't actually know what I had in my head. I just didn't think, I don't think I thought this was going to be as good as it actually was there. I didn't, that's what it was. I didn't think they had a big field with pumpkins. I thought it was more just like, kind of like fun things for kids to do. Um, but they had like a big massive field at the back, which wasn't muddy um, because it's got like gravel, which was good because I've been to pumpkin patches before and it's literally like muddy and yeah, it's not the best. You end up absolutely mock it. So we came down here and we obviously didn't have tickets and the staff were absolutely lovely. They were like, no, honestly, if you're like wanting to come at the weekend or anything like that, like it'll say online that everything's booked out just now. But if you do come down, they're going to basically just try and accommodate people. It also wasn't majorly busy. Like it wasn't, what wouldn't you say? Yeah. It wasn't like we were able to like wander about, take pictures with things. What I will say is like me and my mom were the only adults that didn't have a <laughs> child. But I'm sure there's other people that are going like, because it said like date night, didn't it? Mm -hmm. They've got like things we can go and like carve pumpkins together yeah. um, and also that was only 250 each mm -hmm. so really really cheap and since we're down the Clyde Valley and we absolutely love it down here um, I think we're going to go along to Silver Birch and get an autumnal drink maybe a hot chocolate but definitely autumnal and then we probably will go in and look at the Christmas decor mm -hmm. 
I've been Linda's eyes are lighting up. Yeah, I've actually been looking forward to that. Me too. So oh, we're I did love that in there. That was and really was fun. Seeing all the kids and all that, and everybody was just dead happy. Everyone was loving it. Yeah, right? They get really all the pictures nice. and stuff. Mm -hmm. Dead, dead cute. And the um, staff. I know, they, they were, were everyone so helpful. They were really nice. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice. So yeah, love the little morning. We're going to go now and get a coffee, maybe a wee sweet treat. There was nice pumpkin -y cupcakes and stuff there, but I refrained. I was saying this yesterday in my vlog about something I was saying, I was about the box actually, how I've refrained from opening it, but then I was like restrained from, is it refrained? Oh, I don't know. I feel like refrained is right, but I, then I'm like, am I wrong? <laughs> Popped into Sainsbury's while I wait for Chris and I've just seen this onesie. I haven't had a onesie in years but I'm so tempted. £22 and it's so so soft. I love this little lounge set. This is so gorgeous. It's like a kind of like oatmeal colour. £13 for the top and then I think that's the matching bottoms there. And they are 13 as well. Welcome to a very cosy evening. Me and Chris have decided to have a little pre-Halloween cosy night in. We're going to carve our pumpkin and I'm currently making some soup for the week ahead. So we're going to have like a really nice cosy dinner, carve our pumpkin. I've also got those cinnamon rolls from the garden centre. We haven't had them yet so we're going to pop some of them in, in the oven later for a little treat after our dinner. And then I think we're going to sit and watch another Harry Potter and just have a lovely kind of cosy Halloween night out. Night out, <laughs> night in. Don't get me wrong, I used to love going out for Halloween. I used to love getting all dressed up. And it was always like a night out, like I used to look forward to. But we are just old now and we enjoy like staying in and having like cozy nights. Um, we've been watching all of the Harry Potters. Chris was literally just saying to me there like, we're gonna to need to up the ante a little bit because it's almost gonna be like November. And November to us is like Christmas, like the countdown to Christmas. We're no longer going to be in like autumnal mode, we're going to be in full blown Santa mode. So yeah, I think it's only like nine weeks now till Christmas, so that'll just fly by. Um, and yeah, we've got like a list of, well he's got a list of Christmas films we're going to start watching. So we want to try and get all of our Harry Potters done. Yeah, I think we're on now on to like the sixth, sixth? I never can say that. The sixth film, that still doesn't sound right, but basically you know what number I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, we're going to watch that, well we're going to watch a wee bit of that tonight and that is our plan. So I thought I would vlog it for you guys because I just love all the cosy vibes and I hope you guys do too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> 